My name is Jakob Werneman. I'm the program manager for disaster risk reduction and early recovery at the MSB. Throughout the years, MSB has been very active in supporting affected communities in humanitarian action, primarily through our collaboration with the international community and various UN agencies. In last number of years, however, the focus has increased when it comes to areas such as disaster risk reduction, early recovery, recovery and transition, capacity development, and it's our belief that these areas are going to be increasingly important, also connected to humanitarian action in the future. In this video, we're going to see uh, some examples of the work that MSB is doing in disaster waste management uh, from the Philippines in 2014. We're going to be meeting some of the MSB, MSB staff that's working together with UNDP in the area uh, and some examples of the good work that MSB is contributing with. My name is Thorsten Karnischkis. I'm a geologist from Germany and uh, part of my job is working in post-conflict and post-disaster missions. My area of expertise is disaster waste management, especially hazardous waste, demolition and uh, contaminated land. The mission here, uh, MSB deployed a team of uh, initially four disaster waste experts. I'm, my name is Ana Fonseca. I'm from Portugal, currently living in Dubai, and I'm here working with the MSP for, as a, an expert on waste management. So my name is Aidan Short, I'm from France, I'm working for MSB, uh, I'm seconded to UNDP as part of the waste management component here in the uh, Yolanda response. So uh, my name is Soren, uh, I'm a Swedish civil engineer working for MSP here in uh, the Philippines, seconded to uh, UNDP working with uh, disaster waste management here in uh, Tacloban. As soon as we arrived, this was not an emergency anymore, so it was waste management, as we call it. And so our plan here was to try to understand what was the problems related with waste and how to solve the problems in the best way, according with the um, needs and the existing uh, uh, materials that they have available. Uh, which means that we've, a lot of the work that we've done has moved away from debris hauling into more uh, waste management components. So we're talking about municipal waste, we're talking about healthcare waste, we're talking about some kinds of hazardous wastes, and uh, we're trying to ensure that the, the damage that's been caused to, by, to infrastructure by Yolanda uh, can be recovered and repaired and ensure that waste is dealt with appropriately. It makes it very difficult to deal with medical waste, which is obviously infectious, can contaminate, uh, cause disease, spread disease. So it needs to be dealt with in a specific way. We arrive to a situation where medical waste, which is, I'm talking about bandages, uh, sh syringes, needles, scalpels, even um, uh, samples, so the stool samples, urine samples, blood samples. Um, and, I mean, other kinds of not-so-nice things as amputations that happen and all the rest. This all creates waste that people don't really want to have around them for understandable reasons. It needs to be moved to specific areas that uh, will ensure safety of as many people as possible. Yes, I visit every week sometimes more than once a week, to see, to make sure that all the, um, the waste is put in there correctly, because since Yolanda, they had a big problem with the waste, and it was not possible to, to dispose of the waste in a proper way. So what we are doing here now is, uh, UNDP provided the machines, the heavy machines, so we have there one excavator, one dozer, and three dump trucks. And uh, we are also supporting on technical issues, so how they should dispose the waste in a proper way on the landfill with the daily recovery and everything that should be done correctly. And they are doing it very well so far. They are improving very, very good. Most of it, the, the, the waste was along the road, but then on the second trip, on the second visit, we came with the LGU, it was our first official meeting with the LGU, all of them came, and the waste, we had to stop the cars here, because the waste was up to here. 
And so we say, you see, now you have a problem and we need to solve this. And so all of us, uh, we, we walk on top of the waste and uh, that's when I think they realize that actually they do have a problem and we are here to help them. And that's when things started to go more and more involved. They are trying to involve the departments, all the departments on this. Yeah, but we can go and see. Yeah. And we found several mm -hmm. medical waste. So we identified this as a potential problem. And uh, what happened is that the LGU has an agreement with all, all the hospitals on segregation. Mm -hmm. And they are not supposed to send the, the, um, the waste here. But it's they are sending. The it's against the law, yeah. And it's also in the law that they need to segregate the waste on the hospitals. And so the LGU is only supposed to collect the household waste and the non-hazardous waste. But actually they are mixing everything. If you look this side, this is a dump site. Yeah. If you look that side, that side is a landfill. Mm -hmm. There you have the vents, you have the waste is compacted, it's covered. So this is what we are doing. Uh, we started that way because we want this, this waste to be removed on the other side. So they will take this waste away, we'll put on the other side, we'll do like daily recovery and uh, by cells, by rows, so they will take care of this waste. We cannot afford that a lot of bags are coming to the sorting station and as soon as they open the bags there are blood and other things inside, it's yeah. not good. So what we are trying to arrange with the municipality now is that they have one dedicated truck to be to put with a stick like hazardous waste and so it, it will be one specific truck that collects in all the hospitals and it comes straight and after this is clean they will, uh, dump, they will put the waste here, it will be uh, immediately covered. This here is the sorting station and uh, we are planning to bring all the scavengers that are working on the landfill to here because we don't want them to work on the landfill anymore, it's not safe, so we are bringing them here to the sorting station. Here they will have shadow, they will, we will provide the PPEs, all the personal uh, protection equipment and uh, at the same time they will be able to get their own materials, it will be the same, they will have their own money. And when this is working properly, we don't need the, the scavengers, don't have any purpose to go to the landfill anymore because everything will be sorted here. Well, my, my main task here is dump site closure, hazardous waste, and uh, like. Um, Occupational health and safety. I've been coping with needles and shafts from hospitals. That's where you come in. Uh, every time there's uh, rain coming in here, it will draw with it a lot of uh, pollutants and uh, general toxic material. So the, the treatment of that will be uh, one of my main tasks. My goal here is to reduce the environmental footprint of the dump site, uh, which means re also reducing the environmental footprint of Yolanda. Yes. And uh, I think we have achieved a lot already, making the slopes more safe. Yes. And um, I managed to integrate the closure of the dump site already in, in the current works, which means that by at handover to the um, city annual, uh, they will have a very easy job to, to close it and they will know about the procedures. Mm -hmm. The current situation is that the scavengers are collecting recyclables and sell them on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, they are, they are unorganized and have a very weak position um, when, when negotiating with the scrap shop owners who, who buy the, the stuff from them. What we're trying to, to do is uh, improve their situation. 
and maybe in future in the near future we may be able to merge the cash for waste team and the, the scavengers into a cooperative which is able to um, to actually run the dump site this is something which we call build back better yes, yes. so whatever we do we don't try to get back to normal but uh, to improve the situation and do it in a sustainable sustainable way well we had and we still have slope failures here on the dump site because of the steep slopes we are restructuring and rebuilding the slopes which involves a lot of heavy machinery and they have done a very very good job they have moved several tens of thousands of cubic meters of waste that have been reshaped into safer slopes and um, uh, without all this heavy machinery we are actually managing here on site uh, we couldn't have done this uh, the situation before our arrival was that the waste was and the d disaster debris was dumped in a very uncontrolled way and uh, what we achieved here on the ground was uh, converting this uncontrolled dump site in a controlled dump site and uh, the target is to leave behind a site that is partially covered maybe even partially closed and uh, to hand it over to the city of Takloban so that they can continue safe operation. This movie was recorded in April 2014, about six months after Typhoon Yolanda hit the Philippines. Since then, MSB has continued the work uh, together with UNDP, fo focusing on supporting uh, the local community in disaster waste management. Lately, we've extended the project to go on into the beginning of 2015, primarily focusing on developing the capacity of local government structures and entities in order to effectively being able to take over the responsibility for waste management in the affected regions and for the particular dump sites where MSB is working. So far, the MSB operation in the Philippines has showed how important disaster waste management is in the aftermath of natural disasters. It's a crucial element in order to enable a society to build back better after being affected by a disaster. Now, I'm convinced that the need for support when it comes to disaster waste management around the world is going to increase. And MSB is willing to commit resources to further strengthening the capacity of uh, the MSB when it comes to disaster waste management and in turn supporting affected communities in close collaboration with our partners such as UNDP to make that happen.